This is Hannibal here from the HannibalTV.com. Thank you to all the fans who participated in my interview with boxing legend Michael Spinks earlier today. It is up in full here already on the Hannibal TV. He discussed his fights with Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, 31 and 1 record, which is incredible. Won world championships at heavyweight and light heavyweight. What an honor it was to interview him. And you're going to see more boxing interviews on this channel as time goes on, as I love boxing and I like uh, training in it as well. Is Ivelise Velez tomorrow at 2.30 p.m.? She was on WWE Tough Enough in Lucha Underground and recently appeared in All Elite Wrestling. She is doing a live stream interactive fan Q&A with me Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Eastern. So stay tuned for that with uh, Ivelise Velez, the Puerto Rican beauty. I'm looking forward to that interview. SmackDown was finally out of the 0.5s. It's been in the 0.5s for ages now. They did a 0.6 with the debut of the Thunderdome, which is basically fans watching on a screen, I guess. I was thinking that uh, they would possibly flash the cameras or some cool stuff would happen, but it's basically people sitting by themselves in rooms with title belts over their shoulders that they've paid a lot of money for, most of them grown adults, watching SmackDown. So they're going to be doing that for about two months for uh, SmackDown and Raw. Although now that AEW is starting to allow fans back, how long is Vince McMahon going to wait to start allowing fans in the shows because live fans is still going to be better. I'm sure it's better for the performers. I've wrestled in front of like a hundred fans and I've wrestled in front of as many as 15,000 fans. And it's a hell of a lot more fun. The more people are there. Now this is more of this WWE storytelling performance crap world storytelling entertainment Randy Orton's doing an angle at SummerSlam. I guess he makes $4 million a year now, so he just doesn't care anymore. He did a conference call to promote SummerSlam. And on this conference call, he discussed the angle that he was doing with Ric Flair where he attacked Ric Flair on Raw. And he said that segment was hard to do, and I'm quoting here. There were so many things I could have said that would have been nasty and would have even made that segment better. It was hard to look at him in the eye, no matter how much we wanted it to come across that way. It was hard to be mean to that man after how he's treated me for the past 20 years, especially. But you know, business is business. Rick knows that and I know that. And I'll tell you what, he was never supposed to grab the microphone from me that night. He was just supposed to say a few things under his breath that the handheld camera in the ring may or may not pick up. You were supposed to see our facial expressions and get an idea that he was bringing me back in. And eventually we had the hug and I turned on him. But when he grabbed the mic, I was thinking, ah, come on, Rick, you're not supposed to grab the mic. But then he went on to cut that promo and it was touching. The thing is, he meant everything he said. That's why he's so special in the business. He's always left his heart out there in the ring. And every emotion you get from Ric Flair, it's real. And that's one of the reasons he's the best, end quote. So why, again, are we supposed to care about this angle when you did a angle on Raw where you supposedly had Ric Flair stretchered out and now you're saying in a media conference call, that it was hard for you to do and Ric Flair went off script. I don't know. I don't know how they expect anyone to be interested in wrestling when they do a segment and then go in the news and 
break kayfabe immediately on the segment. You can't wait for SummerSlam to actually happen before you break kayfabe. I have absolutely zero interest in SummerSlam. I have zero interest in WWE. I would rather watch MMA. The promos in MMA are better. It's easier to suspend disbelief in MMA because the fighters can make you believe that they hate each other even when they don't. Sometimes they just do it to build up a fight. The characters are better in MMA. and The characters are better in boxing. Terry Harper says the WWE is unwatchable right now. Michael B says the WWE has lost its mind. So hopefully, I know I'm losing all interest and faith in wrestling, but when I can promote again, I will put out my own style of wrestling and it will be nothing to what the crap that's going on in, in AEW and WWE. Both of those companies are absolute garbage. Just complete shit to me. So I'm going to go off. I already had a good shoulder workout today. And I'm going to go off and run in a few minutes. Get my uh, cardio in. Getting into phenomenal shape these days. Ready to kick some ass at any moment. Somebody make me the big MMA fight offer. I'm begging you.